Now on the show, we love inspiring you to go out there and set new boundaries in your own life. Go and tick off that bucket list. So imagine traveling across Africa all by yourself on just public transport with nothing but your camera and of course, a lot of faith in people. Well, this is exactly what one Cape Town photographer is about to do and Kat has more. Now here's some great inspiration for you. Documentary photographer Yasser Bouli is departing from Cape Town Station later on today to embark on an epic journey from the mother city to Dar es Salaam in Tanzania, all using public transport. Now Yasser is joining Expresso to explain the motivations behind this incredible exploration of our beautiful continent. What is the whole aim of this epic journey? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, Katleho. Uh, I've always wanted to do it. Yeah. I, I travelled to Mozambique in 2001 mm -hmm. via a similar way. We took a train to, uh, myself and a good friend, took a train to, to Johannesburg and then to Komati Port at the border. Mm -hmm. And then we took a taxi from Komati Port into Maputo. And for me, arriving in the northern part, close to the border, you know, the, 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 the climate change, yeah. the vegetation outside the window changed, the people inside the train all of a sudden started speaking different languages. And for me this was fascinating and yeah. exciting and I realized very quickly that a lot, of, a lot of the people on the train, they were traders. Okay. You know, so it's a very old, it's a very old African tradition trade. You know, I mean, everywhere on the planet, but you know, in, in Africa traders is commonplace. And for me this movement of people across the borders that I had completely no idea about, you know, that was taking place on a daily basis was a fascinating world that I wanted to revisit. Yeah, you and know? I guess a, a certain kind of interconnectedness that you start then identifying between all these people that, Precisely. you know, it's almost like a, like, a, like a spectrum that slowly but surely changes into the next colour. So how are you going to be inspiring other people with this journey? And I understand that you also have many organisations that have come uh, on board and they've decided to support yes. and sponsor yes. uh, this journey. And tell me about, so firstly, how will you be inspiring people yes. and why these organisations decided to tap into this? Okay, so the, the, the how, in terms of my photography, I would like to raise the profile of travelling within Southern Africa, and then by extension the rest of Africa mm -hmm. by public transport, to also remind people that it's achievable, and it's possible, mm -hmm. and it's beautiful, in the hope that more and more South Africans will engage with the rest of Africa. You know, starting off with the fact that, starting off with the realization that South Africa is part of this tremendous continent. Yeah. You know, um, and then to, like I said, heighten the profile, because once you have people moving mm -hmm. in between the different countries, people getting to build real relationships Absolutely. with each other, after that follows trade, you know, after that follows communication, after that follows the building of relationships, you know. And after that, the United States of Africa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so, man. So for me, for me, it's about, in a way, it's almost like inception. <laughs> you know, right. it's my own personal, it's my own personal one-man inception of a, of a, you know, of a continent. I'm loving it, dude, and I um, can't wait yeah, for you to, to bring all of these stories to us, and yeah. I know that we can follow them. Uh, I'm hoping that you've learned the phrase, Jambo Buana, Habarigani, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nzuruzana. Yeah. There we go, exactly. there we go. Exactly. Thank you so much, man. Wonderful. I don't know if I, if I, if it's time, just to speak about quickly about the organizations that have partnered. Very quickly. Um, one of them is uh, Oracon, they are engineering consultancy and they do things completely differently because, you know, they approach using design thinking, they, they are human centric, you know. So this is why, this is how the relationship between myself as a creative came about with them because they're wanting to work with creatives to visualize what in a, in a nutshell is their future in in contributing towards the real growth of Africa. Absolutely. So once again, we've got to thank you and wish you the best of luck on this <laughs> epic journey, my brother. Thank and you. as that famous uh, Kenyan phrase or song goes, Wageni Mwakaribishwa, Kenya to Hakuna Matata. <laughs> now, the official Africanist in Motion website goes live today as Yasser departs on his journey from Cape Town Station. And if you'd like to keep up with these travels, you can do so by visiting www.afrimo.co.za. And if you'd like to also see more of Yasser, his work, his book, his exhibition, which are both uh, titled South Africa at Liberty, they are available for you to enjoy at 6 Spin Street in Cape Town.